Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Make it fast. Time's a wasting. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. Looks like we're back where we started. Quite the opposite, Commander. I think my knowledge of the Protheans will prove useful before this is over. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. You sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind drown myself in your thoughts, it is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, is this some kind of game? Are you calling in a report just so you can cut us off again? Don't piss me off and I won't disconnect you. You don't make demands on us, Shepard. Spectres answer to the Council, not the other way around. You need to back off and let me do my job. Of course, Commander. We received your files on Pharos. Things would have been much easier if Exogeny had told you about the Thorian. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. The Thorian enslaved and killed innocent civilians. Yes, I'm sure you're correct, Commander. It's unfortunate the colony couldn't be saved. I'm surprised, Shepard. Ferris was a human colony. I thought you'd go to any lengths to save your own kind. Goodbye, Counselor. Oh, lost the connection, ma'am. Sorry. Dr. Tassoni. Commander? We need to talk. The three of us. This is a rather awkward situation. I'm not trying to make anyone uncomfortable. I'm just trying to figure out where I stand. I should have seen this coming. I am afraid it was inevitable. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. I'm not jealous. I'm confused. I, mean, I thought we had something, ma'am. I, I didn't realize that you were a... Well, that you prefer other women. I am not exactly a woman, Lieutenant. My species only has one gender. Yeah, but you look... All right, Shepard. Make a choice. If you're not serious about me, it'll hurt, but I'll get over it. But until you tell me, I can't get over it. But you're special to me, Caden. What about Liara? Is she special, too? 
This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. I never should have told you my feelings, Shepard. I have put you in a terrible position. I am sorry. You were right to tell me, Liara. I feel the same way. Stop. You can't keep dancing around this, Shepard. Make a choice. Her or me. Why do I have to make a choice? Maybe the three of us could... No, sorry, Shepard. I mean, if I'd known... Well, maybe we just aren't right for each other. I hope things work out for you, too. I've got a lot of work to do, Commander. Mission reports, that kind of thing. You know how it is. I feel bad for her, Shepard. I hope she'll be okay. I'll go talk with her in a while. Give her a chance to cool down. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry you were put in this position, but... I'm glad you chose me. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more... private conversation. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. You didn't seem that interested in helping me before. Why now? The Council agreed that Saren was dangerous, Commander. That was why we made you a Spectre. We only balked at unleashing the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Nobody on the Council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest information. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander, but they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. I don't like being kept in the dark. We can't have you racing around the galaxy chasing false leads, Commander. We only contacted you because we feel this may be significant. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. A missing infiltration team's not my problem. Clean up your own mess. That unit may have sacrificed their lives to get this message out. Saren is up to something on Vermeer. You'd see that if it weren't for your stubborn human pride. I will find Saren, but I'm doing it my way. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. 
One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. We need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. This is the surveillance drone, but where is the data module? Guess we're doing this the hard way. This is why you humans have such a violent reputation. Yes, ma'am.
Drop the data module! It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. Targets down.
Message coming in. Patching it through. I have a difficult assignment, Commander. You're the only one I can trust to get it done. There's a criminal leader named Darius in the Skillian Verge who controls most of the Raider activity. I'd like you to negotiate a ceasefire with him. You're kidding. Admiral, I'm the last person who should be negotiating a ceasefire. That's exactly why I chose you, Commander. Darius is a warrior. He wouldn't take an Alliance negotiator seriously. But with your very public achievements, you represent a strong image that Darius has to respect. Show him that the Alliance won't back down. Show him he better make peace while he can. I still think this is a mistake, Admiral. You're not under my command, but we need you for this job. You're the only one that could get it done right. The meeting will take place on a remote barren planet. I'm transmitting the coordinates now. I'm also transmitting the background for this negotiation. Fifth Fleet out. I hope the Alliance would take this meeting seriously. Instead, they send me a woman. Were you supposed to use your assets to win concessions from me? According to your file, your only mark of distinction is that you stupidly got your own soldiers killed on Torfin. I don't believe my background is relevant here, Mr. Darius. Shall we talk? Actually, given my rank, I'd prefer that you call me Lord Darius. Or, how about your lordship, if my name is too difficult for you? Is that a bad joke? I've killed worse than you on my way to real problems. 
You can't speak to me that way. You and your alliance owe me, Shepard. You see this gun? This is your gun. Your military set me up here, and now it wants to pretend it doesn't know me! But I know the truth. The Alliance needed me here, so treat me with the respect I deserve! You said we set you up. Did the Alliance give you weapons? After the Batarians were driven out of the Verds, the Alliance wanted to stabilize the region. I had the strongest syndicate in the area. They gave me the weapons and money I needed to take over. So do not pretend we are so different, soldier! I deserve your Alliance's gratitude, not these attacks! I apologize. Now let's get back to business. If you're prepared to treat me as a powerful and respected ally of the Alliance, certainly. Now, I assume you are going to apologize on behalf of the Alliance for trespassing and theft. Alliance miners were illegally extracting Element Zero from an asteroid in my territory! Punitive attacks were the only appropriate response, and I demand an apology from the Alliance. The Alliance offers its apologies. We didn't realize that you'd claim that asteroid. I'm pleased that the Alliance is willing to admit its responsibility for this situation. Now that clear boundaries have been established, I believe we can find a solution that benefits both sides. The miners are welcome to mine Element Zero on my asteroid in exchange for certain considerations. We're willing to discuss that. What kind of considerations did you have in mind? The miners will pay a reasonable fee for the right to extract and export Element Zero from my territory. In addition, they will give us a monthly quantity of Element Zero, as well as refining equipment to produce red sand. I believe we can manage that. Excellent. Then there's only one other factor between us and an agreement. I want you to ask me nicely. It's the least the Alliance can do after I took their offer and helped them stabilize this region. Swallow your military bravado, Commander Shepard, and say please. Stop the raids, get off the asteroid, and I won't waste a bullet on you. Please. You can't talk that way to me. The Alliance will learn to respect me when I send them your bloody corpse! You can't talk that way to me.
coming in. Patching it through. I'm sorry that you were unable to negotiate with Darius peacefully. His death is regrettable. Nevertheless, the resulting chaos will create a power vacuum that makes future raids upon our miners unlikely. You put Darius in power, but he was getting greedy. You wanted me to kill him. The Alliance does not condone assassination. We would never give that order. Killing Darius was your decision alone. And because you're a Spectre, we couldn't reprimand you if we wanted to. Thank you for your assistance in this matter, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. And this is a problem, why? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Just because I saved Eden Prime doesn't make me an expert on nuclear munitions. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. It's in the Voyager cluster? That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. By the time we finish our current objectives, you could have someone else on site. All right, I'll see if I can find someone else to handle this. Fifth Fleet out.
The signal is coming from a mine? I don't like this, Commander. I concur. This did not crash. Someone moved it here. Your grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners and watch your back. Aye, aye. Have we met? My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus Clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. The strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. You organized the attack on Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. See if there's anything in here we can use. Yes, ma'am. Ready.
That's the last of them. beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal.
Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Not so fast. First you're gonna tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the creepers here. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? Too many people died here. Their blood is on your hands. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire!
secured. Logs show this ship was exploring near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board, and then... This makes no sense, Commander. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. That artifact must have done something to them. Why else would someone fly into Geth space? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the Captain's mind was falling apart. It, it doesn't say anything about how they got back into our territory. The Geth transformed them into husks, and left the vessel where they knew it would be found. A warning to other organics not to enter the Vale. Thank you.
Sir. done here. 